Workers at Amani Tiwi Beach Hotel in Matuga, sub-county Kuala County, have gone on strike demanding the hotel to pay their four years' allowances amounting to millions of shillings. Nikki Gitonga is joining us with more. Nikki, apart from um, the salary um, demands, what else do we know is ailing the hotel workers? <laughs> Right, Nick, if you can hear us, um, what can you tell us about uh, the protest there? Of course, the uh, workers are saying that they are going on strike, demanding for their four-year allowances. How did this reach to this point? Well, we're having challenges um, hearing Nikki Gitonga. I'm not sure he can hear us, but uh, Nikki, one more time, let's try if you can hear us. We are asking the question that you're telling us that um, uh, the Amani Tiwi Beach Hotel in Matuga, uh, sub county of Kuala County. The hotel management to pay their service charge. These are tokens that uh, the workers normally receive uh, from all the uh, guests uh, who reside who, or whatever they book the hotel, and uh, the service charge has ballooned to over 20 million Kenyan shillings and today they have uh, paralyzed services at the facility uh, demanding that they wa uh, at least the management to, uh, to honor their pay. And right now we just want to talk to some of the workers here to tell us uh, so far uh, what has led to the delay and what is the management uh, saying. Pengine kwa kifupi tu tueleze mbona mumegoma leo. Anza na majina. Asan sana bwana Niki. Jina langu na hitu Ali Mamose. Mifanya maniti yu kwa mda wa miaka saba. E, kitangu ni ingie, hii hoteli inanyanyasa wa fonikazi. Kwa sababu gani ya tani sema hivyo? Kufikia leo, tunamiezi 26 service charge ya tujalipo. E, asa maswala yetu ni kwamba, tukiuliza, tukiuliza man, man, management au GM wanasema, kampuni haina pesa za kulipo wa fonikazi. Na tukiangalia geni wanaingia na wanalipa. Asa ndi wanasema service charge yetu ndi inatokea ilipa, inatulipa, inatulipa mishahara. Kwa hivyo si tunengeomba. Safu watu wa misikia machungu leo tumeamua kwamba tusifanye kazi paka tujua ya ya pesa zetu. Tungeomba pia sirikali ingilie. Ikiwezekana pia bana Fred Matiangi ajua hii hali vile hiko kwa sababu hiyo ndiye mtetezi wetu. Asante. Wacha niongee na mwingine kwa kifupi pengine wana lipi la kusema. Ama kweli mimi naitwa Fikra Ndunda. Uh -huh. Ni kwa hapa almost huko 10 years. Uh -huh. Lakini kulingana na vile mambo yanaendelea si vile alivyokuwa pale pale nyuma. Sababu kwa saa hii mambo yamebadilika sana. Mpaka safi stage inakuwa pending, mshahara unakuja kuchelewa na hata upande mwingine tukichagua upande wa wa, wa wafanyikazi kwenda kuongea na management wanapeana hadi ambazo awatimizi kama saa hii vile vile tulivyo hivyo wiki mbili nyuma tulikuwa tushaongea nao na waka promise within 2 to 3 days watakuwa wame wamesuluhisha ili njambo wewe wadai pesa ngapi mimi kwa saa hii naadai karibu laki mbili na nusu ambao ni service charge bila mambo ya ya, ya dues Hizo ni sile peding from 2015. Kwa watakaje? Kwa, kwa ufupi ni kwa na, na, naomba. Kama serikali ingeingilia ili swala. Ili tukapata msaada kutoka kwa serikali. Sabu vile mambo ya livyo, sivyo. Sabu kwa upande mungini unapata wageni wako wengi. Na ukiuliza upande wa management wanasema wageni awalipi. Asante, tumalizie kwa kifupi tu. Pengine ni maswala gani mengine ambao mnapata ama shida ambazo mnapata katika hoteli hii? Shida tunapata ni kwamba Majina, majina. Shida, uh, majina ni Musa Moshigadi. Nimefanya hapa kwa miaka miaka kumi, ya miaka kumi. Kwa hivyo, chila ambazo napata ni kwamba wageni tunao wa kutosha, lakini hatuoni mazao, hatuoni service charge, mishahara kuchelewa, hata casuals, awalipu kulingana vile uwa wenye wamesema. Kwa hivyo, tukua tunaomba, serikali ingili kati. Na tukiangalia kwamba uh, tuna GM, tuna FC, ambao hawa ni watu wa inje, hawa ni wa in Indians. Mbona muna tuachia jamani, hawa watu wana tunyanyasa hivyo. Kwa hivyo, tunao... Tunyanyasa vipu? Kuyanyaswa ni kwamba, hawa watu wana, ata wanatutukana. Eh, yeah. e, wanatukana golo, jimu mana ya golo nini? Black monkey bili. Eh, hata monkeys, sifi nini? Unatuita black monkey. Kwa hivyo, tunaomba, serikali yetu, na tourism section, ambayo iko pamoja na sisi, ingilie kati, hii tourism inanda mna gani? Mbona tunambia wageni ni stini, na wageni tunawa miatatu. Dada, kwa kifupi tu, tumalize. Naitua mwana juma, naitua mwana juma, na nimekuwa nikipanya uh, manitiwi for three years. Hili swala linajulikana mpaka na wakubwa, na wakubwa wa hili eneo, na hakuna kitu chanyo metusaidia. So tuko tunomba msaadi, msaada kwa matianga, we need them, we have suffered.
Ah, laki moja na nusu. Okay. Time, time. Mdai imeisha kidogo. Just a minute. Ah, uh, you've heard these are some of the uh, workers from uh, uh, Amani Beach Hotel saying that they want uh, the government to intervene so that at least uh, they can be paid their uh, salary dues or the service charge that has uh, amount to over 20 million Kenya shilling. There are also a number of issues that also they want uh, uh, the government to intervene. Yeah, they also, uh, when it comes to yearly increment, uh, they, they, do not, they normally don't uh, receive uh, increment when it comes to their salary uh, as per the CBA laws. And the other issue is about uh, most, of the, most of them here are casual laborers and there is need for them to be permanently employed. Those are some of the issues that uh, they want the government to intervene so that the hotel management can come in uh, to pay them their service charge. Remember, this is a hotel that has a capacity of uh, 209 beds. So in translation, maybe around 400 uh, uh, work, uh, 400, uh, I mean 400 visitor guests uh, they are normally here at the hotel, so they want back their money. That's all I have for now. Back to in studio. Gitoko. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, Nikki Gitonga there from Kuala. Quite some heavy downpour it appears from, the, from that location. Mm, look at that rain. Mm -hmm. But these are real issues affecting um, the workers at that facility. We hope that they, again, can be resolved as quickly as possible.